Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Ashok Gupta and I'm here with a new video with a question and its rationalization. Okay, let's move. So this question would, is a more situational question which will allow you to feel it. So you are allowed to move within your chair as well as feel the activities and so I recommend doing this uh, within this question so it will help you in. Uh, I request you to pause your videos in the next screen for one minute, read the question, choose your own right answer and then let's rationalize together. So take your one minute. Okay, so let's start solving this way. This question has a 51 year old male which has a right side facet joint locking problem. That's it. It's a very small question but has a lot of good activities given down and we need to choose which one of those would be the most unrealistic or impacting activity or would be the most difficult one. Okay, so let's start with the first one. First activity is like with your right hand, you need to touch your left toe down there with sitting within the chair means like you need to bend forward that's flexion and then you need to rotate towards your right side so lumbar vertebras are flexing and rotating towards your right side okay let's move on to the second activity that's a similar one but this time the right hand is going towards the left leg toe so this time the left rotation of lumbar vertebra and the flexion of the lumbar vertebra is happening okay the third activity which is like if you have seen any kind of a ball bat game like a baseball or cricket whenever if you need to catch a ball you need to like come with both the hands if the ball is coming from the sky uh, you need to take up and then you catch exactly in front of your face or, or in front of your chest so what happens to the bar it is hyper extended yes so there is a bilateral ex hyper extension in the both of this, in the both the side of the facet joint they are doing a hyper extension we'll talk about the biomechanics in a moment and the last activity is a throwing activity we were throwing a ball with the right hand and you are talking about the last phase of a throwing which is a release of a ball so when you are in this so your right shoulder is in front and the left shoulder is in the back means you are doing a left side rotation in the left and you're leaning forward means you're doing a flexion of the lumbar so this activity is this so let's talk about the biomechanics of the lumbar joint so whenever you have a facet joints both the sides okay the orientation of the facet joint let's say talk about the right side facet joint it's like this so whenever you do, you do flexion movement uh, your uh, superior process the, the vertebra, inferior process of the superior vertebra or the superior process of the inferior vertebra which is oriented like this at alpha alpha level when you do lumbar flexion they opens up when you do extension they closes down and it happens bilaterally okay let's talk about the lateral rotations okay when I'm doing a right side rotation what happens the facet joint orientation is such a way that when this side and this side let's say suppose someone is rotating towards the right side so your this process will go behind and this process will come close so what will happen the closing on the left side and opening on the right side yes if you want to rotate the opposite side, the opposite will happen. So the side you are rotating, the, uh, the vertebral facet joints will open up the same side. And if someone has a facet locking joint problem, so the opening would be a problem to him, closing won't be a problem because the joint facet is already in a locked position. Okay, so closing is not a problem, opening is a problem. So right side rotation is a problem. Answer one, yes, that's the right answer because only that answer provides you or requires you to do the right side rotation and which would be impractical or difficult for the patient to do it. Uh, if you know this point, you have done it right. Yes, but I give you extra trick here. If let's say uh, someone who is confused or is not aware exactly what happens during the rotation in the lumbar facet joint, flexion and extension is very easy to feel. Even if you do and then feel, you can make it realization like, oh, when you do flexion, everything opens up at the back. And when you do extension, everything closes at the back. So uh, answer three, if you read that properly, there was a hyper extension happening. It can't be a right answer. It has to be between the one, two and four. Okay, let's come on so four and two if you see the answers they are exactly the same answers 
because you are doing a flexion and the left side rotation when you do this movement in the second answer when you do this this movement in the fourth answer again this is the left side rotation and the flexion so there can't be two right answers in one same question there can be the one best possible answer but not two right answers so the answers which are same are both wrong so only left out option with you is the first answer and that's a right one so next time I hope you will be doing this one on the right side so take care all the best